Hello, my name is Markus Wilmsmann. I'm the chief editor of Mother Grip magazine. And a few weeks ago, I was invited to Nexo, the loudspeaker manufacturer, located in Playy near Paris. And I was shown the production process of the brand new P12 loudspeaker. A video exists which was broadcast two days before. And in this video that I want to show you now, I talked to Joseph Carcopino, the director of research and development, about the all little tricks of the new P12 loudspeaker, how you can use it together with the L15 subwoofer. And I would like to show you this video now. Enjoy it, please. Now I've reached the heart of R&D of Nexo, and next to me is standing Joseph Carcupino, the head of R&D. Joseph, where are we here? Hello, Marcus, and welcome to Nexo R&D and Echoic Chamber. This is in this room we are making the measurements for our speakers, especially the polar plot. And this is very important measurement for our Nexo P12 new speakers, because you know, the directivity can be adjusted using flanges. So we have checked that all the flanges have the right directivity. And this anechoic chamber is quite unique because behind the foam you can see on the wall there is some large metal plates that are absorbing the energy of the sound wave in the low frequency. So with just one meter deep wall we can go down to the lower frequency the P12 can do. Joseph, to be honest, it's a bit too silent for me in here. Maybe we can go and find a better place for the interview. Now we have reached the training department of Nexo and next to me and Joseph we have the brand new P12 along with the L15 subwoofer. Joseph, what is specific about the point source philosophy of Nexo? Well, point source system has always been a very important market for Nexo and that's the way most of our customers are knowing Nexo uh, through the PS range, uh, which was introduced in the middle of the 90s. Um, this range was very famous because we sold more than 150,000 units over the world. But today, 20 years after, it's time to replace it with something uh, fresher. Um, the situation is very different from the 90s because today a lot of manufacturers are on the market. Uh, Everybody is doing some point source speakers, it's really a reduction. So at R&D we thought, what can we add uh, as a functionality to this new point source speaker uh, in order to have uh, something unique that can help the customers. The idea with the P12 is to offer various directivity. So you buy one speaker and then you can fit all situation from small FOH, for example in a theater, to distributed system or to floor monitor. You can adjust to very narrow for long throw or to something very wide when you need it. Okay Joseph, now please explain us how to change the directivity of the P12. Okay, so Basically, the P12 is offering a 60 by 60 dispersion uh, thanks to the horn in the center of the speaker. But you can add one of these plastic parts to change the directivity. This one is the equivalent of the what we call PS horn. It means it's asymmetrical directivity. It's very useful for FOH. If you are near um, the stage, you will have a very large directivity and the far you go from the, from the stage, then you have a very narrow directivity. So it's good for an audience when you're in a FOH situation. This other flanges uses um, asymmetrical directivity. It's a 90, 40 degree. So you can change from something totally symmetrical to something that will have a privilege on one of the two directions, either this way or this way. I will remove the grill and show you how it works. Okay, so I just take a coin and turn the quarter ton screw. Then I remove the grill. I take one of the flanges, for example, in this direction, thanks to the magnet is fitted. Then I put the grill back. And turn the quarter ton screw in the other way. This way. And that way. Okay. That That's is. it. And it lasted around, around about 35 seconds. Yes, with no rush. But this means that I cannot only use the P12 for front of house applications, but in many other ways also. Yes, of course. If you look at this installation with two L15 and one P12, this would be a perfect DJ monitor, just at the right height. But the speakers can of course be used also as a front of house monitor, uh, using the long throw directivity 60 by 60 or the PS 
um, flange. We have a broad range of accessory that can uh, hold the P12 either in horizontal or vertical situation to the ceiling or to a wall. You have seen the pole stand situation just before and many other uh, applications can be invented, of course, with this speaker. Are there any other features that should be mentioned? Yes, of course. The vent have been specially designed through computed aided system. Uh, they are very low noise ports. There is some magnetic fixing system for the horn that you've seen before with this small cap that you add in the default horn. So it removes all the diffraction unwanted. There's a switch at the back so the speaker can be changed from passive mode to active mode. You have four speaker connectors, two at the connection plate at the back and one in each handle to have a clean wiring when you use in monitor application. You notice that the shape of the speaker is using bent wood uh, to remove all the angles which make a very strong boxes with very low distortion. And finally there is two pole stand, one in each handle and I give you a small clue, if you use the speaker in FOH position and some rain is going in the first pole stand, there will be a small tube inside so it goes in the bottom one. When we remove the speakers, you will have no rain on your face. And what about power and processing? Well, the power and processing is done through our new platform, which is called NXAMP 4x2 Mark II. It's an amplifier that's using latest generation DSP, 64-bit, 96 kilohertz processing. This DSP has been useful because when you change the directivity of the horn, you change the mechanical part, but then you can also adapt the processing to have a perfect co coverage on all the frequency range. Joseph, thank you very much. That was Joseph Carcopino, the Director of Research and Development in Nexo, explaining to us the features and tricks and nice ideas of the new P12 loudspeaker and how we can use it together with the also brand new L15 subwoofer. Okay, that was the second part of our three-part video series and the next part and the final part will be broadcast uh, upcoming Wednesday and then I will take a closer look at the brand new amplification of Nexo. I hope I'll see you then. Enjoy your evening and goodbye.